I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Midday muscle, baby. Let's go. Welcome back, and we're gonna jump right into this new update from your Toronto Pro champ, Ian Valier. After he went on a record a few days ago to address some rumors that began floating around about potential injuries to his pecs and back shortly after he wrapped up that show. According to Ian, he's not injured, nor does he have anything weird going on with his chest or his back. So the plan now is gonna be for him to regroup, get himself back in order, and then start to go all in on his prep for this year's Olympia. He believes that he and his team will be able to make some significant improvements over the next few months and continue to build on the momentum they've established here with the win. If he continues to get better over the course of the season, which is something that he's typically done throughout the course of his career, then this might end up being the year we see him pull enough levers to finally land a spot inside the top seven at the O. We've also got an update for you from Hassan Mustafa who finished in the runner-up spot behind Ian in Toronto a few weeks ago. And according to Hassan's camp, it looks like the next stop for him this year is the Orlando Pro, scheduled to take place about three weeks from now. If you haven't seen the pictures of Hassan in Toronto, go back and check those right now, because what we saw him do there should have erased any doubts people had about him being able to match the success he had last year. Hassan was fantastic in Toronto, but he just happened to run into a buzzsaw in Ian, who was at his all-time best there. But if he keeps making small improvements around the margins for the next couple of weeks, he'll do just fine rolling into Orlando, where he should be one of the pre-show favorites. Up to this point in the season, we haven't had too many major headlines make this way from the Classic division yet. But we will say this, if you're a diehard fan of Classic, you gotta love what you're seeing from Michael DeBull so far this year. Because he might be the one guy in the division who looks like he's ready to shake things up this fall. He had those two big wins back to back in Pittsburgh and New York, and since he's transitioned into making improvements for the last few weeks, the general consensus that we're hearing from people close to his camp is that this is the biggest and leanest he's ever been at any point in his career. Now given how close the top five guys in this division are right now, it may still not be enough firepower to upset the balance of power. But we do think that if he makes a few small adjustments, that he can make a run to be in that five, six, or seven range which should be one hell of an accomplishment in a division that has so much depth. And our final update of the day is coming to you courtesy of Nick Walker, who doesn't seem like he's making any attempt to keep his offseason strategy close to the vest at this point. If I was a Nick Walker fan, I'd love what I'm seeing from him right now, because Nick is one of those guys who looks better when he goes all in on that freak factor. His ability to shift in and out of different approaches to bring new looks to some of his more recent shows has been crazy impressive and it showcases the level of detail that he puts into perfecting his craft. But at the end of the day, doubling down on his strengths and trying to overpower people with that crazy level of thickness that he has is what helped make him who he is in the first place. And if you can't beat the Hottie Schuppens and the Samson Dowdas and the Derek Lunsfords of the world by being more aesthetic, well then you might as well play your own game because beating someone else at theirs is a tough thing to do at this level. Well, that's all we got for you today. Keep it locked to Ark's Muscle, and we'll see you tomorrow.